from the St. Vitus Saloon in the wild, wild west. It's two minutes to sundown, y'all. What's up, varmints? Welcome to Two Minutes to Sundown. As you all know, our first Patreon-funded season is heading off into the sunset, and we reckon the kind folk of St. Vitus deserved one final hoedown. I'm your host, Calcinio Boy, and with me as always are the assassination of mutant man by the coward, Emily Lee. What the in my boot! <laughs> Somebody poison the water hole! To infinity and beyond! <laughs> Whatever. Folks, as you know, it's our finale. And boy, howdy, if it ain't a son of a bitch! Marcinio, what is what in the world is going on here? And why are you dressed like Trixie Mattel? <laughs> this was supposed to be your little brother's guar mitzvah. Well, hey there, little lady. You can't just mosey on oh, into this house. don't you stick with me, don't you? You stick with me. Oh, come on, Mom, get out of here. We're doing a cowboy episode. It ties in the big ending. When you lost all that Patreon money gambling on children's MMA, <laughs> I said that I would come and pay for your show. And in return, you said that your little brother could have his guar mitzvah right here, tonight, and that all the little Robert Maplethorps would film it. <laughs> but, Mom, it's the finale. I don't know when I'm gonna, the next time I'm going to get to do one of these. Oh, well, somebody should have thought of that before they devoted an entire episode to watching porn. Oh, uh, looking back, that was more of a season two idea. Steven, please, back off from the mic. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Mom, I bought a bolo tie. Marcinio, when you make a promise to your mother and your brother, you have to keep it. Family is the most important thing in the world. You have to cherish it. You have to water it and let the flower bloom. <laughs> wow, Ben, that was beautiful. Was that a poem? No, that was Converge lyrics. <laughs> That was beautiful. Now that's a son. And on the heels of his beautiful words, I think it's Guar Mitzvah time. Everybody, it's Guar Mitzvah time. All of you, won't you help me in welcoming his availableness, Rabbi Shecky Lucifer. <laughs> What's happening, children of the corn, with a K? <laughs> Who wants to uh, see this demon boy get turned into a manzig? <laughs> it's Gwar Mitzvah time with my guy, Cannibal Corey. Who came from farthest away today? I came from hell. <laughs> OK, who can beat that? I did not see that answer coming. I'm from space hell? Space hell, that beats hell, actually. <laughs> yeah. All right, can we hurry this up? Kevin, the sound guy, is tied to the tracks of the G train. All right. <laughs> Let's get our almost man of the hour out here, uh, Cannibal Corey. Get out of your newspaper face. <laughs> Thank you all for coming tonight and helping to usher me into Maryland manhood. <laughs> it will 
will be my esteemed honor to read a passage from the Evil Dead 2 DVD case. <laughs> Big brother for letting me use the stage. I love him so much and I want to be just like him when I grow up. I can't wait to live in a basement and be mean to me. Eat shit, you'll never live in a basement. I would like to present you with a Necro Comic Con. I don't know, it's a really, it's a reputable film, have at it. Ash, parentheses, Bruce Campbell is back. <laughs> and this time it's personal. Amen. <laughs> Keep reading. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> Manic inspired genius, says the Chicago Sun Times. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Remastered in high definition, Dolby Surround. 84 minutes. And also so with you. Sorry, partner. Oh. What? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was. Oh, calm down. I've been waiting eight episodes and a special from Florida to do that. <laughs> Keep it going. Feels like crossing a line. Anyway, by the power vested in me, uh, you're now a man. Yeah. And listen, I know people are gonna be giving you all sorts of advice, so I'm just gonna give you a bit that I wish someone said to me when I was about your age. Don't pay your taxes. What? Yeah. Don't do it. What are they going to do? Arrest you? Yes! yes! Oh. I, I have a jail allergy. Jail allergy. Sorry. Watch it, bitch. Hi, Corey. Sorry I'm late. Um, I, uh... I don't want to be here at all. <laughs> Honestly, I only came because your mom invited me, and I'm actually a really big fan of Wet Hot American Summer. <laughs> okay, this stage is made out of balsa wood gliders. Someone's got to leave. Who the fuck is this guy? That's my brother, Soft Mike. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. I've heard so many nice things about you from Melissa. No, you haven't. I, I haven't. <laughs> It's nice to see you. Okay. Are you guys sure that you're really related? Because, like, other than the hats and the vests and whatever, you don't seem to have a lot in common. Garcinio, family is not something you choose. <laughs> family is a gift from God. As you are to him or them, vice versa. I don't know. Okay, wait. What Converge song is that? Oh, that's Desmond Tutu. All right, Desmond Tutu makes me want to puke. Mike, let's go to the diner next door and steal forks. Yes. Actress and comedian Janine Garofalo, would you like to join us? I have no wish to steal, but I would love to leave. Let's... Please. Bye, Mom! Look, everybody, it's Ben Wyman. That's my favorite Desmond Tutu song. So is this like a Jewish thing or a hell thing? When it's family, it's the same thing. <laughs> but yeah, man, you want to come up here and shoot the shit for 30 minutes? That will be cut down to eight minutes? Yabba dabba doo. No one likes to be ordinary. So why smell like it? 
from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab are anything but ordinary. Shoes are just socks with bones. Nickels are just quarters on a diet. Uncles are just freelance dads. Enjoy scents like Whiplash from two minutes to late night and the new custom scent for the mix nobody drag pageant. Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Our next guest is our first guest. Please welcome back to the show, farm owner and current Pepsi desirer, Ben <laughs> Weinman. abused by this little boy for months now. For months? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you came prepared for it, dressed in all gray? <laughs> yeah, it's great. You buddy. know what would go great with my gray shirt? <laughs> Another gray shirt. <laughs> you have a farm now. Yeah. <laughs> Were you always a farmer? How did you no. get into farming? Are you a doomsday prepper? What's going on? <laughs> I like inherited like a bunch of rescue animals, kind of. Oh my God. Aww. Yeah. I'm not buying that shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you just started farming. Like, you have a yeah, farm Yeah, literally, now. like, I played the last Dillinger show. Who? I got a farm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first day? How do, what, how do you decide what I your know. first day of farming is going to be? I didn't decide. I, I didn't choose it. They were left with me. Honestly, are they better off, though? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they can move in here. Um, Who left them with you? So I, my wife and I moved and bought a house and the previous owner had a little farm and they were supposed to take the animals. So they're like, can we leave the animals for a week? And we're just like, okay, and we'll come, you know, they came and fed them and stuff like that. And then in two weeks and then three weeks and they just left them. That's what my parents did to me. Right. <laughs> yeah. But no, do you, is there YouTube tutorials for farming? No. What do you do? No, we had like, they left like, 60, 70 animals. And then, and I'd never done anything like that before. And then my wife would just keep getting more. <laughs> like, because then when people hear you have the space, everyone's like, look at this pig, look at it needs a home, look at this horse, look at that. And I'd just like come home and they'd be getting dropped off with like sores and all kinds of stuff. And I'd be like, cool, what I, I. Oh my God. Yeah, like sick and really messed up. So I, you know. We, it just keeps growing. This is the weirdest heroic it's so story. So weird, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They just got dropped off. Yeah, I, had to, I washed them. I don't know. Yeah. Like an animal gets dropped off, do you just like immediately like fall in love with it, or is this just your burden now? Well, like one day, it's no. I love it. I love it. Like one day, um, I take them in the house. I put diapers on them. I, you know, it's, it's like amazing. Well, my disgusting. wife. Disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my wife is actually a doctor. So really? like it's kind of been interesting because we try and take care of the medical needs and things like that. And she's okay. a breast surgeon, so there's a couple of goats with tits now, but cool. other, than that, other than that, no. But um, Listen, we're a pretty satanic show. We love yeah. goats with tits. No, we have satanic. <laughs> Super satanic. That's our bread and yeah. butter here. There's a lot of yeah. opportunities out there for goats with tits. No, the, the, porn. It's porn. Goat <laughs> porn. You guys heard of that band goat whore? Hey, sex work is real work. Woo! Okay. We don't make a cent off any animal. Like we don't use them for anything. Like they just have a happy life. And you just have a bunch of freeloading ass animals. Seriously, like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a squat. It's like a total. It's like a fucking squat. <laughs> yeah. It's like a punk squat from Philadelphia or something. You know. Do you have a favorite animal? I have ones I hate the most. Who do you? <laughs> we have a pig named Roomba who my wife brings in bed. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks. Like I, 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 I hate. I hear snorting under the covers, and she's like, "I fired it," and I'm like, "No, that's a, that's a fucking pig under our covers." Like, <laughs> like, 
That was a snort, you know what I mean? Oh, and we got my girlfriend named Kyra Banks. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, tell us some of the animals. So Kyra has a hole in her heart. She Me was too, at a pig actually, rescue. I have that too. She's totally. Yeah. <laughs> what's, gonna, what's gonna fill that hole, Melissa? <laughs> I think the answer is uh, more animal names. How many names? Fat, fat, Wu Tang. Wu -ta what animal uh, is Wu Tang? It's a, it's a pony that just fucking kicks everyone. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no. Like, no, he, he ain't nothing to fuck with. He's. Yeah. And, um, Wu Tang Killer Bees, they yeah, are. Yeah, he's horse. fucking nuts. <laughs> um, we got Boja Mr. Bojangles. Is that a favorite. cat? It's a little baby fainting goat. He's oh, cute. God. Um, so we've got Daisy, the pig. They found Daisy on Camden. You have two pigs? We have five. Holy five pigs. fucking two shit. Two inside man. and three outside. Are you going to like hire staff to help you with this? It's not that bad. Everyone should just get a bunch of fucking animals and stop being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, everybody get more animals. animals. Seriously. Yeah. It's like water, hay, a roof. It's like not that big deal. All right, Suicidal Tendencies has always been a pretty diverse band, but uh, if if you asked me a year ago if there would be a Jew in it, I would, I would, <laughs> no. How did you get allowed to be in Suicidal Tendencies? I just had to kill someone and wear a bandana. It's not that, <laughs> it's not, it's not How that did you hard. kill somebody? How would you kill somebody yeah. to join a band? A knife? <laughs> it's like dumb question, right? Why complicate things? I don't know. I think it would be fun. I like. Uh, <laughs> I don't like. This is. This is gonna sound dark. Yeah. When I thought about killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you took my advice. But no, when I think about like killing myself, I'm like, I'm not gonna open a vein alone or whatever, or like, you know, put a toaster in the bathtub. I'm not gonna do it. Boring. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go yeah. fucking hard. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I'm just gonna like jump out of a plane. See you later. Like, right. well, I wanna, I wanna go out like someone dying in the X Games. Right. Right. <laughs> so you would kill yourself, and that's how you'd get in suicidal tendencies. Is yeah. Are you, are you a part of the band now, would you say? Yeah, like, you know, I, I can't really leave too, too for long periods of time, because of, you know, obviously, so. Yeah, um, is this like not... initiation for you? Like, <laughs> you gotta play like 17 shows. No, no, I, I mean. And you, gotta, and you gotta rescue a bunch of animals. Right. And then you can be in the band. Right. Does he hate soda jokes? Dude, every night when we play, I open the, the, like, the fridge, and I'm like, is it gonna be Coke or Pepsi, you know? And either way, it's fucking funny. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> either way, it's right. I loved that band for like a long time. Were you like a huge yeah, fan? Yeah, I was of a massive suicide. Like honestly, um, you know, I was a skate. I skateboarded. So when I first started, you know, skateboarding and music were very, you know, a big part of my youth. And mm -hmm. but I was more of like the Depeche Mode, Cure, Susie and the Banshees, Skater. <laughs> oh my god. And then, Wait, did other people know that skater? I didn't know that skater. It's a little older. It was a little older, you know, it was than like, you. But. but the skaters in my town were just like misfits or like bowling for soup. It was those two <laughs> different times. There was no fucking bowling for soup in my half pipe. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, but then Mike's brother was an original Z-Boy, you know? Yeah. And, yeah, and so he was one of the, he started one of the big founders of the, modern skateboarding that we know of. Mm -hmm. And um, so Suicidal Tensity was always like a huge soundtrack for skating. So yeah. that kind of got me into a lot of more thrash and metal and it, it was a big part of my um, trajectory in, in heavy music. So obviously, you know, it's a great opportunity. It's really amazing. They're one of like the old thrash bands that I'm like still afraid of. Like I'm not scared of anyone in Slayer. Like Carrie King looks like a bowling ball that came to life. <laughs> I'm not afraid of that guy. Yeah. Tom Araya looks like a Brillo pad. Right. I, I literally, every member of Suicidal Tendencies has only gotten scarier. <laughs> That's how, they're like, we eat glass. <laughs> Actually, Suicidal was banned from from L.A., which is ironic because they're from Venice Beach. They were banned for years. What? Because you know, because there would be gang stuff going on. It was never from them, really. And so recently, they just got invited back to play L.A., and we played um, Huntington Beach a few few weeks back, and it's really cool. And, and Mike is really touched by it because he's just actually one of the most positive people I've ever met. Get and, the and, fuck out of here! Oh my god, it's like he's what? so posy. It's like crazy, man. And they're so punk and so DIY. He's printing every shirt in his 
barn and they're going to the post what? office. I swear Everybody to God. Everybody has a fucking barn now. What is this? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you I gotta guess. have a barn. You guys are blowing it. So, um, <laughs> totally blowing it. Have you ever been banned from anywhere? Tell me one club that you're banned from and why. Oh, we've always gone back eventually. Um, well, we were, bound, but we were banned from every house of blues. Every house, every of, house blues? of blues? Why? In the world. Blowing fire and all kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you're, they're mostly at Disney. Fire and shit. The thing is, we have House of Blues are often at Disney's. Oh my god. You know what God. I mean? So, yeah. like, we would play House of Blues and people would be walking by, with, like, Disney stuff, and then Greg would be throwing poop at them or something, you know? It's like, <laughs> doesn't match, you know? Was it Greg's poop or someone else's poop? No, it was Greg's poop. <laughs> we were banned from one club because I busted, but I bled everywhere. You know what I mean? How? So, like, what I don't know. I think I just did it. Like, I was like, I think I just did I, it. Like, I learned I burping on commands. Yeah. I didn't know you could just bleed no, on No, it was like, it. you know, these guys are, they're gonna tell us we can't spit, so I'm just gonna I'm, bleed gonna, I'm, I'm gonna like, spit with my body juice? Right. I don't remember. But you know what I mean? It's like, something like that. I, I mean, literally don't yeah. know what you mean. <laughs> What's the worst name you've ever been called? Like, not a slur or whatever, but just like something that someone came up with and you were like, oh my God, my soul. I think somebody, thought my band was disturbed at one point. <laughs> I think we got How funny would Greg look with the chin piercings? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think he'd look better. What's the weirdest thing you've had pierced? I mean, I was never like lame enough to have an eyebrow ring or anything, so I don't I don't I feel from like the you're time... kind of a human eyebrow ring. <laughs> 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 That was the worst injury I've ever done. Speaking of eyebrow rings, I don't want to ask you about what was it like when like Joe and Joe broke up. But you feel I, I I see like on your Instagram or whatever you're getting like old show posters and whatever. Yeah. Like you were like a part of a scene when there wasn't like a scene. Are you nostalgic for that time period? Yeah, for you sure. Think? I mean, look, I, mean, I find flyers with like Brodsky over there all the time. And we share them. You know, there there was a time when bands like us and Caven and Botch and Converge were. Um, out there doing it in a time where you didn't have a cell phone. And you literally drove nine hours to a show and they told you, oops, it's canceled, you know? And you're like, cool. Yeah, how did you even what do you want to do the now, show? you know? Like, the phone book? What did you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, um, do you remember phone dialers, Steve? Do you remember those phone dialers? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Remember those? Of course I do! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a phone dialer? Like we would, there was these dudes that would like the like the super punk dudes would like go to Radio Shack and make these things that would make the sound of a quarter going on a payphone, and it would work. So it would be like you press the button, and you could make this thing and it would go da 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 da, and you can make long distance calls. What? Through this payphones using payphones this thing. Payphones are sound activated. They apparently they were. So <laughs> you were either the guy from Police Academy or you had one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> And you could make free phone calls. So yeah. we would sit at a pizza place with every phone number, every kid who did shows in their basement, and just sit there and call and call and call on the pay phones all day until we booked enough of a tour, and then you just go. But is that just the only thing that it took? Literally I mean, you not had to trade. No, I mean, you really had to trade favors. You know, I remember having like the guys from AFI sleep on my floor, and then yeah. like they would give us a show out in the Bay Area, and we'd sleep on their floor. You just really had to be involved. Like, you really had to be involved. Yeah. You couldn't have some dipshit with like a Facebook and a, you know, a marketing guy. And, it's yeah. weird that you, like, that barter system, like, that's kind of how we've made this show. No, exactly. <laughs> no, that's what I love about this show. I and really, you're also a dipshit to... with a Facebook. Right. I, uh, I have no idea how you got Janine Garofalo on this. I don't know what you bartered for that, but... My mom? Yeah, I mean, your mom. How'd you get your mom on I this I used thing? a phone dialer to call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny about that? We went through that whole... whole th I have a Wet Hot American Summer tattoo. Really? Uh, yeah. No way. Yeah, it's just the van. That's cool. I got a tattoo of where my mom worked, too. Yeah? Uh. Uh. So it's a tattoo of jail? Yeah. <laughs> well, what else is going on with the, with the future of Ben Wyman? What are you going to do? I'm probably going to start creating music in exchange for donations towards the animals, like a Patreon. So, um... Yeah, do you have any 
you have a Patreon for the animals? Yeah, so we're doing a Patreon, and that way it's kind of like gives me a reason to make music again because I, you know, I don't, I, 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 you know, it took me a while to care about something as much as Dillinger. So now these animals are actually becoming what makes me inspired to want to make some music again. So I'm gonna have that as a way to donate to the animals. I said I was gonna cry at the beginning of this taping, but I had no idea it was gonna be from Ben talking about his farm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, fucking beautiful. The link you. to the Patreon is gonna be in the description. Uh, ben, Thank I'm you. excited to hear your weird animal music. Thank you for being <laughs> on the show. Ben White, everybody! <laughs> On the pilot, we actually didn't get to play music together. Do you want to stick around and play music with us? Absolutely. Have a Fucking love. finally! Get in there. All right. While we form this hardcore Megazord, please enjoy this sketch. X-ray, X-ray, learn to read, you sack of potato bugs. Guarcenio Hall here, and me and my dandy gang of heartthrobs are here in the Lower East Side of New York City, New York, risking a sock in the jaw to bring you a little bit of acapella. All right, get wise, ladies and germs. I'm here with hardcore legends Vincenzo, Stig Maizano, and Shada. You don't want Nana Potter. And we're looking for a fourth member for Barbershop Quartet. Call your mother. Pardon, pardon, hello, pardon. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? How do we get through? Where do you put the pennies in these things? I don't. Do you hello. get in there? Enter, please. What is this thing? How does this thing work? 25 cents? Oh my god. Oh, that's that's my rent. That's real expensive. Hello. 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 All right, let's open up this pit, huh? Hey. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Buster. <laughs> Oh, what did you? Where's your mustache? Oh, shit. You're trying to put your mustache on. You're going to make us look like idiots. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Ladies and gentlemen, the children of all ages. This next song is available on Wax Cylinder. A one, two, three, four. From the East Coast to the West Coast. Gotta, gotta, gotta go. True sounds of a revolution. Mary Penny, man. Gotta, 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 gotta go. What is that, the bathroom? All right, here we go. Which way is, uh, which way is Kookamunk? Yeah. Spare a dollar, sir. We're trying to get his mother a tattoo. <laughs> Spare a dollar, sir. Spare a dollar. I'm trying to raise money so my dog can vote. One cuppa, please. One cuppa. Okay. Hello. Do you like right. thrash? Hello. Hello. Do you like thrash? Smoke beer. <laughs> All right, everybody. This next song is old enough to get divorced. A one, two, three, four. Ba da 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 da. I see through bits of red and black, still remains. I read between your lines and be that your own game. Take a drink with me, cause soon I will sing. With that one regret, the pain will be. Somebody blew out the candles. Pennies? Pennies, anybody? Pennies? pennies? Please, pennies. I'm not interested. Oh, I'm not God. interested. Hey, oh, we thank can you. buy the whole state of Montana. This next strain, this is where it's gonna happen. We're either gonna find a member or we're gonna make a little bit of coin. Something. 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 Whatever. Get close the train. We're gonna we get some new okay. Get close the train. Oh, we're all doing good. I'm scared. Catch me. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. How are you? How are you? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Glad not to be you. All right, now a song for the bronze. Got it. One, two, three, four. Ba da 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 in your state are all men terrified of the women that they know. Well, fuck somebody else and let his baby grow. It ain't like the old days. It's not, not like the old days. It is not. Like people could just cut hair and sing songs all the it's time. A tough. Oh shit! Damn What's up, city. Melissa? Hey, listen. I don't have a lot of time. I just wanted to let you know. Um, you guys suck. I was on the train with you. It sounds really bad. I would quit. Mm. Thank you. 
A one, two, two. three, four. Carry me on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Hey, that was not bad. That was not bad. Hey, you are You're pretty right. good. You gotta be the fourth member, yeah, Melissa, to join our barbershop quartet. Come on. Come on. Come on. We need you. Oh, wait, where's... We need you. All right, I guess we're a tattoo shop trio then. Okay. This is, uh, this is a lot. Uh, I want to thank Jeannie Garofalo and Dave Hill and Ben Wyman for coming back again. I also just want to thank everyone who just liked the show, who just enjoyed it. This is just a weird uh, dream that I came up with with my best friend, Drew Kaufman. Drew Kaufman, come here. What does it matter? Kevin, the sound guy is tied to the train tracks. It doesn't matter. This is Drew Kaufman. Our whole lives have been trying to just do something with like either music or comedy, and we never thought that like shoving them together and making an entire like program that other people would enjoy. And I want to thank you guys a lot for supporting us and for paying for all eight episodes of this season. We could have done that. <laughs> Beautiful Ben Kohler, please count us off. I am just a cowboy, lonesome on the trail. Starry nights, campfire light. Will. So I'll ride into the old sundown. the trail Lord, I've been thinking about a certain female yeah. Nights we spent together Riding on the range but Looking back Oh, it seems so strange I got my job busting balls in the rodeo. Roll me over, turn me around. Let me keep spinning till I hit the ground. Roll me over and let me go. Riding with this buffalo. Here he goes.
Can't you clap your hands together now? Just roll me over, turn me around. It's okay, mutants. You can let yourselves go. We'll be right here with you. In the rodeo, one more time. The life for me
Delay night! Delay night! Delay night! Delay night! Delay night! Delay night! Wow! We love you! Get the fuck out of here.